from the United States. The United States won't prosecute isolated tribe that killed Christian missionary. The United States says it will not pursue any sort of prosecution against those who killed American missionary John Allen Chow three months ago. Sam Brownback, ambassador at large for religious freedom, confirmed the United States would be dropping the case. He said, it's a tragic situation and a tragic case of what's happened, but that's not something that's been asked. Wait, can you, first of all, I, I don't understand how this was even a case. This seems like ridiculous. Uh, can you explain to, uh, to people that don't know about the backstory in, the, in this, what, the, what this case was about? Well, the, there are some people who were calling on the United States to put some sort of sanctions against India um, until India did something about this. And the United States is basically saying, no, you know, we don't we don't see yeah, anything. But when you say this, people don't even know. <clears throat> some people might not know even know about. Oh, this OK, Christian OK, well, for, 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 for those who don't know what I'm, I'm, I'm sure most people do, there is a Christian missionary named John Chow who went to the North Sentinelese Island, which is an island inhabited by this uh, this tribe that is um, that has not been contacted by by modern humans um, in a very lo very long time, and it's amongst one of the the oldest tribes um, that that we know of. And he goes there, possibly infecting them uh, or exposing them to um, to harmful uh, parasites and and viruses and bacteria, and uh, they they shoot at him, and so he retreats, and he comes back again, and they kill him and leave his body on the beach and they um there was a big uproar over that and people were saying that justice should have been served and that something needs to be done against this tribe basically yeah and this United is a States tribe State. that is again this is a for people that don't know this is a tribe that is very uh, completely isolated from the civilized world they have no idea who the fuck we are and what our laws are and they're so isolated that they're not immune to any of our diseases and going there could put them at risk and this this idiot went there knowing two things, knowing that they, they would be putting them at risk and also knowing that they can't, they wouldn't be able to speak what his language and, and they would, and he's putting himself at risk. So he went there knowing all of this, sh all of this. And now these idiot Christians in the United States want justice over something that he himself put there. Uh, uh, like he put himself in that situation, knowing what he's doing. <coughs> Um, which is absolutely idiotic. Um, I mean, some people might uh, tell us, like, okay, for first of all, uh, even if these people were uh, backward tribe, it's the you know, it's still wrong. Um, and also, some people might accuse us of bigotry of lower expectations. What do you, uh, Ellie, uh, Ellie, Jim? What do you guys think about this? I think that even if um, an atheist went there to give them food um, and was shot, you, you take the risk. I mean, come on, these are people who are isolated from society, from reason. If people want to say that murder is wrong, killing, those are our laws. Those aren't their laws. We don't know what their laws but are. Are you a moral relativist now if you say those are our laws, not their laws? Of course, I guess. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but at, at the no. same like, time, though. Be what the... you will, Armin. Label me what you will. But in this case, in this case, uh, he knew the risks going there. He took the risks going there. He felt that the risks outweighed, the benefits outweighed the risk. Um, and, and he was willing to put his life on the line. He did that. Right. His life was put on the line. He lost his life. Call for justice. What justice? I, it, it seems to me that justice was done. He invaded somebody's territory and they defended it. Boom. No, no. Okay. Yes, okay. absolutely. Wait. Okay, that's not an argument. What I, let me finish what I'm saying, though. Uh, <laughs> no, the, I mean, first of all, what happened to him was a tragedy. He didn't deserve what happened to him, okay? Um, he's an idiot, but you don't... Yes, you don't deserve to be shot with an arrow for idiot. For and being I don't an idiot. think Jim and I are saying he deserved it. No, I'm saying yeah, he yeah, understood I'm, it was a risk. Yeah, he but I was, there's. There's a difference between deserving something and earning something, and I believe that he earned those arrows. Okay, just but you're just using labels. No, okay. What I'm saying is that the, those people, uh, the reason why I have lower expectations, first of all, he didn't deserve what happened to him. He's an idiot. Uh, but the people that shot arrows at him are not to be blamed either, okay? I don't think, uh, I think this, the guy that got shot by an arrow, 
uh, he he wasn't. It's not like oh, he deserved it because he went to invade their place and they defended. No one is saying he deserved it though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But what I think is that he wasn't a victim of those tribes people. This guy is a victim of Christianity, right? He was deluded by Christianity, and he did. Start, he like he himself is a victim of of this whole tragedy. Okay. Uh, the, I don't hold the tribes people responsible for this not because of the bigotry of lower expectation on all that but because i expect that from anybody that is born in a tribe and raised in an environment like that not to have the same laws and same under i mean to be fearful of anything foreign and maybe want to shot shoot arrows at it to come in. like this is not because these people are l l less than us i would think that if <coughs> i was born in a tribe like that and this scary guy came show up with like weird clothes and stuff and and waved the book around like that i would probably shoot shoot arrows at them at the same as as well like uh -huh. Yeah, go of course. Well, and, and especially if you think about their history, I mean, they've had to deal with the Greeks, they've had to deal with the Romans, they've had to deal with, with all different kinds of invasions. This isn't the first time somebody came in strange clothes, and the other times people came, okay. it depleted most of their population, and they saw they saw slaughter within, within their tribe. They don't remember any of that. So, they, they, no, of, uh, uh, of course they do. Or, or, oral, oral traditions, or, or, oral traditions yeah. are very, very strong. I mean, we oh, see that in our society today. If oral traditions were were reliable, then Jesus is real, uh, and Muhammad is, oh, and also well, Muhammad is a prophet of God. Uh, Jesus did exist, just not the biblical Jesus. No, okay, Jesus. If if oral tra if oral Why traditions are so if oral traditions were reliable at all, then Jesus is the Son of God. It's it's. I'm pretty sure they even if they remember anything of back then, they probably like his stories. I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm not saying but they're anyways, reliable, but no, but we know through through history no. that they were invaded. I've yeah, but I have I very much doubt they have any memory of any of that. Uh, I just think that these are tribes people, and they do like what Asian tribe people did. Uh, you do well, you, somebody's I, 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 same logic, then you don't trust any yeah, history. I, I feel like you're really you're, you're really just yeah. brushing that off, and, and you're not you're not realizing like the implications that that invaders of the past have on the way that, that a civilization looks on outsiders. This is not a civilized. These are not civilizations. It is a civilization. Yes, no. it is. Okay, it's a very they, basically they have agriculture. Right? Okay, you want civilization. Okay, they, they, let, they have a, a written, they have language that is agriculture. It's not civilized enough for them to no, remember. That's not agriculture. I'm sorry, civilization. They're not civilized enough to remember shit because they they don't have. Do they? Do you they write? Have to be civilized to Jim, remember. Can you? Shit. All can you not talk over me? Have can you, ta can you not talk over me? Can you not talk over me, please? Uh, do they write stuff down? Maybe. I'm sure. I'm sure they do. do I don't think they have. I don't think they have they have written records. I mean, I, even cave people drew in caves, right? Yeah, that exactly. That's not very good. Uh, and you have Sumerians with with cuneiform. I, no, I mean, okay, is this is getting good. off tangent. But if if I if, <laughs> I, if I if I the only way I would accept that these people remember is that if we if we send a drone in there and we we discover that they have a hidden underground library that they that they're secretly uh, recording their history or something like that. Other than that, they don't remember. And it doesn't matter if that they don't remember because they're still they're still behaving the same way that uh, you would expect from uh, the way we would uh, would behave if we lived in, in a tribe uh, like five thousand years ago. You have no. one hundred and fifty. Wait, Jim. We have one hundred and fifty people that you consider <clears throat> insiders. Everything else is a threat from outside, and you when you see it, you shoot at it. Okay. So basically what we're saying is all of us agree that the guy didn't deserve to be brutally yeah. murdered. Yeah, he didn't Obviously, yeah. you no know, everyone can agree on that. We all understand that this tribe had had the right to defend itself if anything. Um I think that the each right, one of us in some way or another have said that they no, are No, not their right. Laws, right. Not their right. We understand it because rights are given to us by man-made laws. Correct. These, these people don't understand the laws, and I don't expect right. them to understand the laws. So it's not like they have a right to do it, or that right, or, or or, and it's not even illegal for them not to do it, and they don't have the right to do it. It's neither. It's not enough. It's just, It's the way. It's the same way you look at a, 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 a ancient civilization or a, a before history was even recorded. Like you don't look at it with the eye of do they have a right was it illegal you don't look at it like that you just look at it and you understand why it's happening you don't it's 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 right. not the same kind of judgment that you could pass on 
a society that has went through a whole bunch of, uh, you know, advanced way of, you know, uh, you know m governing and coming up with uh, laws that we have tested and trialed for, for okay, thousands of years. I think, I think we're nitpicking one word. Right, I said the right. 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 Basically, we all understand that this tribe um, did what it did and and it did so because they thought someone was invading them. Okay, so if you don't want to say the right to do it, then then they did so for a reason. Um, whether or not we agree with the reason doesn't even matter at this point. Someone went onto their property who was unwanted and unwelcome. Uh, yeah, but again, I see if if Christianity is true, I would agree with those Christians what he did. Like I see his point of view, right? Fuck, who cares about disease? Who cares about me being shot with an arrow? Uh, Jesus is the way. It's worth the risk, right? The problem is that Christianity is not true, so this guy ended up killing himself for nothing. But he, based on his premise, everything is justified. So I see, I see, I see why he would do that if just if Christianity was true. Uh, but if again, he, yeah, if he killed some of that tribe to get some of them to convert to Christianity, would that be justified? If Christianity was true. I see. I would see why somebody would think that's justified, but obviously Christianity is not true, so none of that is justified, right? So, but if I mean, who cares about this world if the, you have eternity to worry about, right? If you have eternity to worry about, the problem is that you don't have eternity to worry about. Uh, but another another thing is that the whole point of the, I mean, the whole point of laws should be not to not for the sake of revenge or for the a tit for tat or something like that. The point of laws should be to avoid future harm, right? Like we don't we don't have laws to pun we don't punish people with laws to satisfy our desire to see somebody be hurt because they cause hurt. That's not that's an ancient way of the bi bi biblical way of coming up with laws. The modern way of coming up with laws is that does this make future harm uh, less uh, people cause less harm to each other in the future, right? So that's why it's fu this this law is fucking ridiculous, right? Because I mean, this case is fucking the people that brought up this case is fucking they they want revenge for some for some of their own people for uh, for a Christian being killed, but you're you're wanting you want to adopt your laws on people that don't even have like what are you gonna do? Bring them to court and tell them. Uh, you know, fill them in on, on two thousand year uh, worth of um, civilization and figure out to to tell them why they did. Like it doesn't make any sense. Uh, bringing this case to the court, in fact, the fact the fact that this was even brought to the court is such a waste of everyone's time. And it, uh, it, uh, I, I'm hoping that cr the the I don't know how it works in the United States, but if you waste the court's time. You have to pay for the court's time, and I'm hoping this Christian group that brought it to the court, they actually end up making uh, being forced to pay for it. And at least that's like, that's how it's like in Canada. Is it that like in the U.S.? It is under certain cases, but I doubt that this would be one of those times. Right. Like if there. Um, yeah, go on. I mean, I was just gonna say. I mean, at the same time, it it really depends on on. I mean, it's just by chance that. That people are in an uproar over this. Had had he been Catholic, he'd be given a martyrdom and, and be sanctified. Yeah, yeah. But but I'm saying is that like bringing a legal case to to people that uh, I mean we understand that I mean this is a very isolated community and we shouldn't even try to integrate them with the rest of the world because that would kill them because oh. of the disease. I mean, yes, I would, absolutely. I would, I would argue that if it wasn't because of the disease, <clears throat> I would be in favor of going there and introducing them to the sure. civilized world, right? Well, but, well, you know, after that that bad typhoon that they had, I believe it was in the early two thousands. I want to say it was two thousand five or six. Uh, um, they um, a, a, a helicopter flew overhead to to check on them to make sure that they were all right because they were assuming that it wiped out everybody. Right. And next thing they know, they're getting shot at with bows and arrows and spears being thrown at them. And they're like, "Okay, well, we're out of here then." And they and they left. So they didn't. No, you know that they they don't need supplies. You know, these people have been there for I, I, I want to say what, where I read it was sixteen thousand years ago that tribe migrated from South Africa to there, and it's it just amazes me, you know how 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 much these people have endured. And yes, their numbers are low, but just let them be, you know, just just leave them alone. There's no reason for for us to try to assimilate them, for us to try to integrate them into society. 
they, you know, these, these are our people who are very much comfortable where they are. I mean, I don't know if they, if it wasn't for the disease, I would go, I was, I would be in favor of assimilation because they, they probably are dying from diseases that could have been prevented if they were, had access to medicine and stuff like that, right? But I understand why we wouldn't do it with this case. But if I'm, I'm not a non-interventionist kind of person, um, you know. So I, if it, if there is the it's only the disease that makes me agree that we should leave these people alone. Uh, the well, top, it, it, I mean, it, it, it's like the Native Americans. You know, we we basically destroyed their culture. I mean, by yeah. by 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 assimilating them. And well, I mean, while while I mean, what, they were destroying. Good, good they were also destroying bad, each other. But, sure, but they, but they've been destroying each other for thousands of years before we got here. Yeah, but they were destroying each other more than you guys. You, you, you're American. Don't, don't, don't blame this on me. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways um, uh, the top comment is saying the punishment for trespassing is death. Consider them a sovereign nation and respect their law. I mean, I, even if you wanted to apply uh, our laws to these tribe, I don't. I still not consider it fair because, I mean, if if somebody comes with a with a Bible to, I don't know, to to. <clears throat> To I don't know with a, let's say with an Islamic book tries to cross the border to United States say like hey I want to teach you the Quran they don't shoot them that's not trespass you might get arrested or something I mean this is like, even by even by trespassing standard this is not we don't I know. think that's I mean uh, in the state of Texas you have and in the state of Florida you have the right to stand your ground so let's say um, some Jehovah's Witnesses got creative and decided they were going to break into my house. Right. Um, in order to <laughs> break <laughs> to preach to breaking to your house is different than breaking to crossing a border. So, so if someone wanted to apply our laws, I'm saying is if someone wanted to apply our laws there. Yeah, I'm just saying it's not relevant. I'm just saying this it is, is irrelevant. Yeah, I'm just saying that uh, people that are saying this is trespassing, this is a sovereign nation, they defended the territory. I like no. This is just this. Is, you can't apply modern you know, our laws to these to this tribe. This was just wrong because they are they have diseases. They you're you're spreading diseases. That's that's all, the only thing you need to know. Uh, Ryan is saying I came here for the memes. You people are disappointing. <laughs> but these people Sorry, aren't Ryan. there. But, but but these people that that fire on him. They had no idea about the disease. That's not that was not their concern. They were concerned with protecting themselves and their land. Yeah, and I don't judge them based on any of our standards. I understand why they would do that, and I'm pretty sure I would do that if I was born in their tribe and I saw this guy with a weird hair haircut and a backpack and a weird object in his hand was coming at me. I would probably shoot at him with an arrow. I understand. I'm not trying to say it was bad or wrong. I just look at it. And I see. I see why they would. Why it would happen. It doesn't have to be justified. It doesn't have to be justified based on our laws. I just see why it would happen. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.